Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, I'm just going to show a secret trove of thousands of free assets that are available from the marketplace in the Epic Launcher. So when you've installed the Epic Launcher, you install Unreal Engine, everyone knows about the marketplace where you can get all sorts of assets for your Unreal Engine virtual projects. Um, there's always the free for the month. Everybody's pretty well aware of those. If you're not, you always want to go get the free for the month items just to add them all to your cart and that's always nice every first Tuesday of the month there's a new set and then you go and you check those out for zero dollars and you're all set so okay wonderful you've got that taken care of place that order $250 worth of materials for absolutely nothing that's great now that is something that folks are already familiar with but there is a secret cache of thousands of free assets under the free section now of course you'll see all sorts of things but in the search go for uh, twin motion twin motion and I own quite a few of these, of course, already. And a lot of these are very self-explanatory and, and there's nothing particularly remarkable. These are really high quality assets. Here's Backyard Pack 1, Backyard Pack 2 is pretty new. Uh, there's great musical instruments, all sorts of exercise equipment. So all of these things are uh, pretty straightforward. The one that's really nondescript and incredibly powerful is this one right here, Twin Motion Content for Unreal Engine. There's very little information here, but what's going on is there are thousands of assets from twin motion in here loads of furniture and vegetation and materials and so on so uh, when you're in launcher you can install this to your engine uh, after you've acquired it for free that takes care of getting it onto your system now to use this uh, you can use it with any project so I've got unreal running here and uh, empty blank project and there's nothing really to see yet you'll want to make sure that that plug in uh, after it's been installed is activated so you want to go to edit and plugins and then search for twin motion here and you want to make sure twin motion content is activated you only need the datasmith twin motion importer if you actually intend to move projects from twin motion into unreal and that's all well and good uh, but the twin motion content is the uh, the treasure trove of assets that you want to make sure is activated so once you've done that and it'll ask you to restart and you've got that going to use those assets you'll need to find them inside the engine content so down in here in your content browser you want to go to settings make sure that you activate show engine content so now we have engine content showing and we also want to show in settings the show plugin content and now all of our plugin information is being shown and you can scroll down down to T and we should be able to find twin motion content and this is where you'll find characters and furnitures and landscapes and lights and you know it could be a little daunting to uh to dig through all of this these are ies lighting patterns um, materials you know there's tiles and so on and so forth so um one of the ways that you can browse through this very quickly is to go up to library and let's say i just want to look at on all of my static meshes my models well then i can go to my filters and filter by static mesh and because I'm at the library level, this will show all the static meshes inside this entire library. There's almost, uh, you know, there's over 1400 different meshes and you can see there's trees and other vegetation, uh, different exercise equipment, clocks and props and all sorts of pieces of plumbing and bags, all sorts of things. So if I want to find my topic, of course, I can go through here and I can look at characters. And so here's some uh, static posed meshes for characters. Uh, let's see, furniture, furniture, incredibly useful, particularly for virtual production, because there's a lot of really nice office furniture, home furnishings, and even some uh, street props and such. So there you go um one of the things is that when you go to materials of course there isn't really any static meshes and you might be caught off guard if you filter by material and you don't see anything and the reason is that the materials in here are actually 
material instances. So when you want to see those, go to the filter, go to materials and choose material instance. And now you'll be able to see all those different materials. So if we want to look at brick, here's lots of different kinds of brick, etc. So this one free plugin, um, again, if we go to materials, we've got 700 of those, we've got over 1400 other assets. So, uh, there's at least 2000 assets free in this one plugin. So I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.